Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Virgo. This is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the week of April 19th through the 25th. Now keep in mind that the timing is fluid and not every reading is for you. So let's just see what we got. A Capricorn. You could be dealing with a Capricorn. You may have Capricorn in your chart. Could have something to do with the end of December into January time frame. Um, we definitely have a very prominent Capricorn energy here. So let's see what else we can get. What do we have for Virgo? We could be dealing with somebody that has a lot of Capricorn in their chart. Winter. I said December, January, didn't I? Something about winter time. Something is going to come to fruition in the winter time. Or something may have happened during last winter that is coming to fruition now. Karma. Justice. Wonderful. So something is going to, I think it's to come. But then again, this is in the past. It's in the past position. So, some sort, something that happened probably last winter is justice is going to be served soon, <laughs> okay? There is some, some sort of karma that is coming about. Maybe it's for a Capricorn in your life, I'm not sure. Something that happened in the winter time, December, January. There's going to be, maybe there's news of legalities or something like that that comes about during this week. There is some sort of decision that is being made. There's, there's balance that is being restored. Justice is being served. Karma. Oh, unfaithfulness have somebody here that has been unfaithful and even though this shows a picture of a ring coming off it doesn't have to be that kind of unfaithfulness there has been just look at the there's been some sort of unfaithfulness and there's justice that is going to be served for that unfaithfulness that happened I think it was last winter Could be dealing with a Libra, could be dealing with a Capricorn. Ooh, well, we have a liar here. Somebody that lies a lot. Could be a pathological liar. Aquarius. January. Because both Capricorn and Aquarius fall in January and they're both winter. So something that happened during the winter. Oh, blank. So that is a clean slate, starting with a clean slate. Um, there's nothing there. There's, this is nothingness. Starting with a clean slate. This is there's there's something that is being cleared out. There's karma that is being cleared during this week. If this is my deck that I created, if you want it, you can find the link below in the SD, Etsy. I always say SD because it feels like it should be, but it's Etsy. Anyhow, um, Mm, there is some sort of karma. And when I think of Aquarius, sometimes I think of the tower because it's it's the Uranus energy. So I'm wondering if you're dealing with somebody that is going to have a tower moment. I feel as though there's been some sort of unfaithfulness. Um, there's also been some darkness and things are going to come to light. Somebody's been lying. The truth is going to be revealed. You are going to be starting with a clean slate. Um, there is a decision that is going to be made based on the facts. A fair and just decision is going to be made. It's something that played out during the winter time. Okay, so we could be dealing with an Aquarius, a Libra, or a Capricorn. By the looks of things, we could also be dealing with a Pisces because we have Pisces on the bottom. So I'm not sure who we're dealing with, but we're dealing with... And Pisces is also winter. So something that happened during the winter 
is coming to fruition this week or in the near future because the timing is fluid and karma and justice is about to be served. Um, oh, Knight of Swords just fell out. So that is... Oh, something, a sudden arrival, a sudden departure, blunt, direct communication, uh, assertiveness, uh, fighter, the, the, the knight of swords is somebody that can be very abrasive, this is somebody that is very uh, authoritative, rebellious, takes risks, that takes action sometimes without even thinking, uh, so I think that, that I think it's this person over here. I think we have somebody that has done something spontaneous. They have done something uh Let me get one more card. It's almost like an attack. You know, they've done something well, I want to say abrasive, assertive. Um Risky, okay? This is somebody who... I feel like this is somebody who has said something or done something without thinking. I also feel like there's something to do with the law here. Maybe this person has broken the law. And there's some sort of truth that is coming out because that is the sort of truth. Nine of Cups. So the Nine of Cups is wish fulfillment done something for instant gratification, wanting to have it all. Somebody has done something. And, and I feel like now there's going to be some consequences for what they did. Knight of Swords is rushing in a hurry. Somebody has done something in regards to, because the Nine of Cups is about having it all. I want to have it all. I want wish fulfillment. I'm going for it. I'm going to do whatever I have to do to get wish fulfillment. Anyhow, um, we do have a liar here that may present themselves to be wish fulfillment. But I don't feel like this person is all that they are cracked up to be. I don't. Somebody went after something without thinking about the consequences. And that is what I think this is. Wow. Wish fulfillment again. Wow. But that's karma, getting what you deserve. And that's right in the middle. That's where you're at right now. You're, you're, somebody's, and, and you think about this. Okay, the star is ruled by Aquarius, and we have Aquarius right underneath it. Somebody is getting a wish that is granted. A wish is being granted, Virgo. There could be somebody rushing into your life. Maybe that's your side of the karma. Because there's two sides to the scales. There's two sides to everything. On one hand, we have a liar. On the other hand, we have, we have the other side. We have the person that was betrayed. There is somebody that is rushing in. This is, and you could look at it this way. This could be a hero that is rushing in. This is some sort of wish fulfillment. It really is. With the Nine of Cups right next to the Star card, there is somebody that is coming in. It feels like it's a Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. Could be a Capricorn, I suppose. I feel like there is something that is coming in that is going to make you extremely happy. It's going to balance out the scales for you. You're going to be starting with a clean slate after being betrayed because of this unfaithfulness. You were betrayed by somebody, obviously. or vice versa. There's definitely some unfaithfulness where there is some sort of consequences and consequences come in many forms. They will they will bring you karma in any way that they see fit where it's going to kick you in the butt if you've been unfaithful. 
Here comes the sirens. Anyhow, um, there is some sort of wish that is being granted. Uh, this is somebody coming in out of nowhere, rushing in to balance the scales, to balance out your karma. This is the end of a karmic cycle for you. You are about to have some sort of dream come true. And I'm not exactly sure what this is, but it feels like there is somebody uh, coming in to your life that is... Uh, going to make you extremely happy, put it that way. Take a look at that. The Sun card, the Fool card, and the Eight of Wands reverse. Now these are both new beginnings. This is the birth of a new life. This is a yes answer. This is the yes answer. This is a rebirth. This is a new day. It's a new beginning. It is a breakthrough. This is shining, glowing, so, so, so happy. This is stepping into unknown territory, taking a risk, a need to take a risk. This is the beginning of a new journey, starting with a clean slate, starting with a fresh, you know, starting fresh, starting from scratch. You're going to be starting from scratch. You're going to be starting something brand new that is going to make you extremely happy. This is a new life. This is a life-giving energy. This is something that you dreamt of. This is dreams. Really pay attention to your dreams. Try to remember your dreams. Something that you have dreamed of and wished for is coming to fruition. Okay? It's going to start. This is the beginning. This is a new beginning. There's been a delay. There's been a blockage of some sort. But I feel like the blockage is over. I do. I feel like the blockage is over. Um... It feels like your prayers have been answered in some way. There's going to be no more. Things are coming to a stop. Things are coming to a halt. I think that you are stepping into a new life. You are no longer going to be communicating or engaging with this person that was unfaithful. They are no longer even going to be on your mind. Because I feel like there is somebody that is coming in that is, it's a dream come true. This is absolutely a dream come true. Very, very positive, glowing, smiling. You are really, really, really going to be smiling. This is exciting. Definitely clean slate, starting from scratch. The past is not even going to be thought about. Whatever happened over here is not even going to be, you're not even going to think about it anymore. You're not even gonna think about it. I feel like, I feel like um, you are breaking free. There's freedom here. There's freedom right here. There's freedom from a negative situation. This is the end of a karmic cycle, put it that way. It is. Things are about to balance out for you in a very, very, very big way. There is somebody that is rushing into your life. This is exactly who you asked for. Exactly. Feels like it's an air sign, Libra, Gemini, or an Aquarius. That's what it feels like to me. I feel like I feel like something happened over the winter. Maybe it was last winter or something was manifesting or you were you were dealing with some karma over the winter or something something happened over the winter time. Or you or there's something that you got that you didn't deserve, you were lied to, you were cheated, something from an individual and now you are about to things are about to change in a positive manner. You're definitely receiving a gift, okay? This is a gift from above. It really is. I don't need the ace of pentacles. This is beautiful, 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 beautiful. This is a blessing. 
It is. It is. I mean, what more can I say other than this is a wish being granted? You're going to be looking beautiful. You're going to be shining. This, I mean, the star in the sun, this is like, some of you could even become famous, okay? This is like fame. It's beauty. It's shining. It's glowing. You are going to be absolutely glowing. You're going to be so happy. Now, the star is also comes after the tower and it's interesting that i mentioned aquarius being the tower so sometimes okay it doesn't mean that it's the tower but anyhow but it represents uranus anyhow um i feel like there's a wish being granted after the tower it's like unexpected help arriving Okay, there's help arriving after the tower has fallen. You have been through a tower moment. You have been through an event that changed your life. Okay, you have this. Now it's time for you to receive your blessing. This is help arriving. Okay, it's, it's your fairy godmother granting your wish. This is a healing energy, very healing, extremely healing. This is going in a new direction, starting a new chapter in your life, stepping into unknown territory. Some of you may be moving to a warmer place. You could be traveling. Uh, whatever is happening, this is the end of going in the wrong direction. I see I see you just doing something that you've never done before. This is so exciting. You're probably going to be jumping for joy. But you need to not feel guilty. Do not feel guilty for starting over. Do not feel guilty for uh whatever happened on the other side because there's two sides there is two sides okay you see the scales there's two sides whoever it is that cheated you that lied to you that uh whatever you know whatever happened happened whatever th things are about to balance out don't feel guilty for whatever their repercussions are okay everything happens for a reason everything happens for a purpose so not only is it clearing out your karma, it's clearing out theirs, whoever this is that, you know, lied to you or, you know, deceived you in some way. So on one hand, we have somebody that is about to be blessed. Somebody may even receive news of a pregnancy or a birth. Not everybody. This is the birth of a new life no matter what. Okay, this is absolutely the birth of a new life. You are being called to take a risk. Okay, to take a risk, to just do it. This is what you asked for. This is a breakthrough. It's a life-giving energy. It's a new day. This is where you can be accepted. Your health is going to be improving. You're going to be in a state of bliss. This is beautiful, absolutely beautiful. I see you uh, starting on a new chapter of your life, brand new, brand, brand, brand new. Do not worry about what happened in the past. Don't look back. What more can I say? Some of you are signing a new contract or you're getting into a new contract. Well, you are getting into a new contract. You're getting into a new contract with somebody that I feel like you wished for. This is your dream come true. This is a yes answer. Some of you could be getting a proposal and the answer is yes. This is also freedom. So I don't know if I said it or not. This is free. You are free. You are free. You're free from that karma. You have you have broke. You've ended a karmic cycle. Celebrate, okay? Celebrate. Celebrate your freedom. Celebrate your new life because this is beautiful. It's time. It's time for you to be happy. So whatever is happening, you you got somebody that is rushing in. They're charging into your life and they are bringing a blessing with them. Good luck.